Hi guys, welcome back to Hitpoint 10. Name's Raval. Today we are going to be continuing with our Prophecy of Pendor playthrough. Uh, we have Wolfie the Boat over there. I wonder if I probably was about to fight him. I probably was about to deal with him. By the looks of it, we got Cinderfall to the west. That's the last bastion of Ravenstern. And the idea would be to discuss with the Lord of um, Cinderfall and try to convince him to join our side to avoid any bloodshed that would ensue after such a battle. Um, since that's the case, I think it's time for us to start clearing up the land, clearing up the locations, uh, practically securing our territories. Well, in securing, I mean just eliminating some of the distractions that might cause some of our forces that are going westwards to be intercepted, just in case we need to fully siege Senderfall. In that regard, let's check our inventory. Baggage train seems to be fine. We do have a Qualis gem. I did take Ravenstern for myself. But about two weeks since you got a stream. Okay. Well, it's, it's good to have you, man. It's good to have you. Um, so I took Centerfall for myself. I'll need to verify and see if I've actually built a knighthood order there. I think I should have, but I will verify. So... Let's go southwards a bit. There are 594 soldiers over there. I would try to recruit as many of them as I can for the garrison in Ravenstern. I should check the garrison in Ravenstern and see what's it, what's going on. We got some knight adventurers. Raven Guard knights and soldiers. Yeah, that's selling me that. We do have a knighthood order here, and we simply have an extra Qualis gem, which is dope. Okay, um... Do I have anything now? It seems we're fine, equipment-wise. Just going to be rearranging the food a bit. There we go. That should do it. We have some... Yeah, we do. We have some soldiers. You know what? Since I have a Qualis gem and I have the... Noldor trade goods. I could try to get just a contingency of Noldor from Elecrae. I don't really need the uh, Qualis, Qualis weapon, so I might not just go. I might not go for it. Um, how do the best non-custom knighthood archers stack up against the Elentorian Crimson Rangers and Perizno? Um, they're around the same ballpark. I think the Elentorian Crimson Rangers are more powerful, though. But if I remember correctly, currently in that game, the Perizno native archers are, you know, the Perizno faction archers are more powerful. You're trying to download uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 on Steam and listen to the stream, but it turns out your internet isn't capable of multitasking. That's perfectly fine, D-Skater, just go download the game and uh, afterwards, if you want to drop by the Steam, that's perfectly okay. Also, thank you for dropping by right now. You got your guys lined up for the day? You'll be back in an hour or so? You got my guys lined up for the day. Okay, no worries, go for it. I'm not sure what that means, but go for it. Alright, so, let me just go to the castle. Oh, I, was I bringing the loot? Ah, I understand what I was doing. I was bringing my loot over here to the chest. Okay, okay, yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. All right. Yeah, I was I was transferring my treasury from Falcon Dark. That does look like the thing that I was doing. Uh, for these, I'm going to have to verify if anybody wants them and afterwards sell them. Now you're here, you're not leaving me. It's it's okay. You would just go for around, I don't know, 30 minutes or so until uh, until the game went download and then you'll just come back. 
You got to get your t guys tasked for the day. Ah, okay. Now I understand what you wanted to do. Okay, go for it, sub. No worries. On the right. Seneschal Borcha. You're sorry. The soldiers are going for 32 days and the knights are going for 14. That's good. Quality of the Raven Guard. It would cost us 320k. Okay. Let's see what's their current stats. Troop trees, knights, raven guard. Ah, so they're way beyond um, lethal durance capabilities. By the looks of that archery proficiency. Okay. Um, that's fine. They have... 40, 40 strength, Jesus. And she'll do 31. Not bad. Not bad. I'm sure that I could have min-maxed even more, but for what it is, it's fine. Um, I guess Lethal Durin... Okay, Lethal Durin is still there to train up. The reason why we're still going to be sending Lethal Durin to train is because the sergeants are not looking so hot in the archery department. They could use a little bit more love from Lethal Durin, so that's good. But they're looking out to become quite powerful as well. Uh, those mounted archers can go, actually. Manage the garrison of this place. I'm going to really check to see how many soldiers we got over here. And we got 30 bladesmen here. Got 100 rangers. That looks good. Give those. Those can stay. Raven Guard Knights can go. Sorry, not Raven Guard. Raven Stern Knights can go. Uh, that looks fine. Decent amount of soldiers as well. You're just going to be keeping that contingency with me at all times. To help me out in the long run. Okay. I guess that's it. I should go back to Falcon Dark and maybe go for another... Treasure true run back to Ravenstone. We'll see if that's needed. Um, let's start. I wonder if those night adventurers would help me out if I attack here. No, it seems they don't. I'm gonna try to eliminate some of these guys. See how we do. See how uh, my boys fare. And then, according to how this battle outcome goes, we'll decide if we want to keep on fighting or we'll wait until we amass a bigger force. The enemies seem to be forming lines, interestingly enough. Okay. Oh, man. I just woke up. So at uh, currently at seven forty eight at seven ten past seven p.m. was the moment when I woke up, and uh, my wife was like, "Rev, you're you're tired. Shouldn't you just skip on the stream today and go to go to sleep and just sleep to your heart's content?" I'm like, "No, I must stream. I must go back." This is looking deadly and good. Yep, Raven Guard Knights and Soldiers are just raking up those kills. Holy fuck. I missed them. I missed this. Okay, just gotta get the rust off of my combat stats. Uh... Giant tits man should be around here, but no, we're going to be retreating and re-engaging. There. Um, we welcome you back with open arms. It's good to be back, man. It's good to be back. Uh, retreat and re-engage, giving me a better looking map. Yeah. Ladder looking map. Better. There we go. Yes. 
Okay, uh, for those who are confused, if if I did say as my so I'm in a in a tired state and and I will probably forget how I phrase things, but if I d if I did state wonder where Titsman is or Titsman is dangerous, I'm referring to Wolfboat because he has um this armor where his um, man breasts are exposed, so I call him Titsman. For obvious reason. I think the full name is Harry Titsman Wolfboat, but I digress. Okay, nice. Diev is the one who started up this fight. That's cool. I'm gonna try to distract and cause a few of the boys to turn towards me. I'm gonna try to cause problems, eliminate, exterminate, uh, tell the cavalry to start charging in. Yes, I know, quite sexy. He is pure sexual... He has pure sex appeal. In a raw form. Nothing for you. He has quite a few soldiers, but I doubt it's... I doubt it's only... I wonder where is Wolfboat? Is he over here on the front line, or did he already go down? Made it noble and got killed by a bear claw. That's fine. Expendable. They're a distraction. Nothing more, nothing less. But we will, uh... Pull back the cavalry. I'm gonna pull them back and uh, tell them to regroup a bit. There she goes. I don't want them to distract them too far away from our archers. I want our archers to keep firing. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's nasty. But it seems we got out of there successfully. That's good. Also, I confirmed that the in-game music is working. Well, not music. The sound is working. Um, in other news, I've closed the poll. It, 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 there's been enough time. I've closed the poll. You'll see that, that the command is no longer present in the title. And the command to summon the poll no longer works. Uh, Battle Brothers has won by one vote. Yep. Alright, we're going to be retreating. And we're going to be re-engaging. Hello, Quiz. Hi, sir. What's your opinion on Bannerlord in a few sentences? Because you saw that you play Warband almost all the time. The last time I played uh, Bannerlord, which was a few months ago, um, it was in a working progress state. It does feel like an early access game. And um, I feel like the biggest, biggest problem with Bannerlord currently, it's the broken AI where the soldiers just don't act or feel intelligent enough to be even on warband levels. So um, I, st I stopped playing it to give it time to develop. That's it. Hey, Night Shifty. Uh, second place was uh, No Man's Sky. Rigged elections. Stop the count. Stop the count. Uh, I feel like it was just enough time. Three three weeks of votes. It was it was the most interacted poll out of all of them. Um, but it's enough. I think it's good to know. It has been a few months, as in four or five months since I've played Bannerlord. Um, I do plan on returning to it and see how is it doing, how, how does it, you know, act or behave nowadays. So I'm looking forward to, to doing that test, but not right now. Not right now. We'll return to it soon. I do plan on finishing Prophecy of Pandora first, at least. Okay. Gonna try to stop this charge a bit. 
try to focus it towards me. I'll tell the cavalry to start charging in a bit. There's just two people. They're not going to be much of a distraction, but even a little bit counts. There's more Mist Mountain soldiers than I thought, which is, well, normal for Wolfie Boat, since he is a Mist Mountain themed army. But yeah, yeah, I didn't really expect it for him to have these mi these many boys. Remember, you remember how in Battlelord after you got knocked out, your men would just walk over the enemy archers and turn their back on them and walk away from the moment to turn around to do the same thing again? Yeah, and that's not just it. It it completely breaks down in sieges, and oh god, I'm dead. That's fine. Um, and besides that. Besides the fact that it breaks completely breaks down in sieges, um, on the world map, if you let's say pay passage, you know, let's say um, I'm facing against it, uh, overwhelming numbers, I won't be able to win this battle. I pay, I pay safe passage. I bribe the lord, um, and there's let's say there are multiple lords in the proximity. As soon as I pay that lord and walk away, the other lords don't um, don't take that into consideration and still attack me. So I either have to bribe all of them with massive amounts of cash and copious amounts of cocaine, or I just fight, sadly. Besides that, another problem is, let's say I do fight, I lose the battle, I'm taken prisoner, I get released... And as soon as I get released, I can't make two steps. That same guy that captured me chases me down, kills me, and takes me prisoner again. Um, could you, I don't know, maybe give me a one-day head start? Give me some immunity? But yes, those are my major complaints. Those are my major complaints with Bannerlord that needs to be fixed for it to be playable. Um, now, Robson, welcome back to the end, dude. How you doing, man? Mm hmm. Sounds awkward because it is. Okay, so the boys are chasing, the boys are killing, the boys are doing a good job. I like the fact that the infantry kind of formed this little death blob. I'm still seeing some of the soldiers shooting, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them some time. I'm going to let them uh, keep on killing as much as they can. We're currently at 308. We've killed half of their forces as we speak. I'm doing good, Robson. I'm a little bit sleep deprived. That's it. Sleep deprived and tired. And, I'm, and I, I do feel my throat hurting a bit because I'm talking. Interestingly enough, but I'll get into more details in around half an hour regarding that. So, but I am doing good. Beautiful. Yeah, these uh, soldiers still have their bows out, which is a good sign. Ooh, be careful there, bucko. But it seems they can take an axe to the back and still stand and fight, which is good. Yeah, finally, some of the knights are actually running out of ammo. I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna... We're gonna spawn camp them. And we will get overwhelmed. But it seems we are going through quite a bit of trash. I might just let them... Uh, try to clean up and kill. But I could use some reinforcements. I, I, I would like some reinforcements here and there. Yeah, there's the spawn location. Um, I feel like we're going to be going through their prisoner stack soon. So what, what do I mean by prisoner stack? Um, Lords and it, it Sorry, not enemy AI. AI Lords in general, once they take prisoners, um, once they defeat enemies, they usually automatically recruit the enemy's prisoners. So I feel like Wolfie Bode most likely got some prisoners 
from other Ravenstern lords or something of the sorts and employ them in his army. Um, so I'm expecting besides these Mist Mountain trash to see some other enemies as well. Okay, no, 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 we do have some some soldiers that are still shooting, which is great. It seems the raiders are getting destroyed as we speak. And there's the Nightbot stating uh, the results of the poll. Appropriately so. Good. I do have to say, I'm looking forward to playing Battlelord, uh, to playing uh, Battlelord and Battle Brothers. I mean, in the pay for passage with the Lord, you feel like if you play Lord A to ignore you, all other lords that like Lord A will honor that deal. But the lords that don't like Lord A will not. It seems a bit more immersive, I guess. But yeah, the escape from prison thing is just stupid. I agree with you on that one, D Skater. But even a one-hour in-game immunity would be good. Or something. But yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I, I would agree if um if they would do it like like how you said it. But yeah, the escape I, I'm not exactly sure what the solution would be for the escape from prison. Either um make them, you know, give me a one day head start, make me one day um immune to being captured or attacked pursued let's go with that or increase the speed of my character when i have one soldier when i'm alone i think that's a, that would be a solution uh what's my damage settings max everything's on max we're on max difficulty the only stat that is not on max difficulty is campaign ai because campaign AI on max gives the the enemy AI so many cheats, it's not fun at all. And the game becomes unnecessarily tedious and tiresome. Hello, lol. Good evening to you. I've been good. Welcome back to the inn. Hey, Tolirax. Hey, Para. Welcome back, guys. It's good to see you. Good to see the old boys coming back. I'm glad that you guys didn't forget me in a week. Hello, Mantits. Now you can see exactly why I call Wolfboat Mantits. I'll get into details in half an hour about that, lol. I'm just waiting for uh, people to gather up so I can tell everybody once and then move on. Well, is it worm here or is it just you? It's warm. Okay, gonna be getting some of that trash armor. We got Wolfie the Bodie. Wolfie Bodie the Slay. And we'll tell him to cough up a Koala's gem. Is there a possibility to check how long you're following Rev? Yes, um, exclamation point followage. QS. Yes, indeed. No need to repeat it every five minutes because, um, the idea would be people are coming in, they're going to be asking, hey, how did it go? And then I'm going to tell them, and then the next minute, hey, how did it go? I want to avoid that. So that's why we're just going to wait for people to show up. You can have 409 soldiers, damn. Let's go through them one step at a time. Merc Warriors might be good, a little bit out of the expensive side. I would wish to avoid them if I can. Hey, Spectre, we'll come back to the end. Desert Hunters, Ravenstern, Silvermus Halberdiers. Yeah, I guess. Archers, definitely. Skirmishers, definitely. Rangers, yep. Wardens, yep. Um, Man at Arms. Three years is a lot of time. Yeah, it seems so, man. It seems so. I have been streaming for a long time now. Why am I not famous yet? I'm kidding. You had three accounts and uh, and lost the password. I see. All's good, man. All's good. Your other account was deleted. Uh, I'm sorry, man. How did your other account get deleted, by the way? What did you do? Mounted Rangers, no thank you. Squared Arms, nah. Hmm. 
I'll take the squire at arms. I'll take the nobleman. They'll train up on their own in the... In the garrison. Kiergaard trained militia. Huskies. Heavy axes. Oh, they, they even fought against uh, Sarleon and Fjordsvane by the looks of it. That's cool. Dragon Drakes, sure. And that's full. Okay, we're, we're full on soldiers. Good. Hmm? I need to record some dead person in a forest to become more famous. That is fucked up, D-Skater. Or pretend to be a socialist that seems to bring a lot of fame your way nowadays. That is fucked up, D-Skater. Uh, you decide, oh, I don't need Twitch anymore. I'll become a responsible, super serious, unfun person. That sounds boring as fuck. Lol, you need to have some fun outlets. It doesn't have to be Twitch, it can be something else, but you need to have things that you enjoy. Um, uh, Lol did ASMR streams and just chatting. Oh, really? You did? How did it go, Lol? Well, you know how that went? Eh. You were having too much fun and wasn't even funny? Okay. Hey, Blue Line. Welcome back to the end. So, d did you actually do it, lol? Did you actually try to do an ASMR uh, stream in, the, in just chat? How did it go? Or was it just a joke? And it didn't go anywhere since you never do a tech stream or take stream? Okay. Well, at least I hope you had a you had some conversations, at least. There. I don't know if you've um, heard, but some retard that keeps promoting socialism and shit bought a two point seven million dollars house, and now people are losing their shit over it. If he was capable of gathering money. And he bought himself a house. That is his choice. I never understood. I, I, I don't know the situation. I don't really want to get too much into it. But if you've managed to amass a sum, an amount of money, and you use it to buy yourself something nice, be it a car, a yacht, a phone, a plane, a house, that is your choice. It's your decision. So... I don't know what people give a fuck... I don't know why would people give a fuck about that. That This is literally what I'm doing right now. I'm gathering up money so I can provide and hopefully one day buy my own house. Currently we are living in um, uh, my wife's parents' apartment. They moved, and now we're living into it. But it's still not ours. Um, so, the idea would be, if I buy myself a house, people will hate me for it? That doesn't make any sense. Again, is it because it's he's promoting socialism or something? I think that's... I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but if it was his choice of buying a house, people should really not give a fuck about him. Does it make him a hypocrite or something? I don't know. I don't care. Shouldn't It shouldn't matter. Neither to him, neither to everybody else. <sighs> hey, Spectre, I'm doing fine. Um, I'll go into details about how I am doing um, in around 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I mean, sure, if you manage to get more money, more power to you, but if you say shit like eat the rich and constantly brag on how bad the rich are, it's a bit ironic, isn't it? So... Just because you hate people that abuse their richness or power, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, you know, you know, work towards making yourself better. Oh, I hate the rich, so I'm going to go live in a cardboard box. Who knows? Maybe the dude needs to needs to take care of his family. Maybe the dude is going to be uh, using that house for the greater good. We don't know. We shouldn't give a fuck. Um, Rev, you were answering your comment about not being too serious. You were saying you were gaming too much to the point of ignoring responsibilities. 
okay, you just need to find a balance in the force. You just got to bring back to to um, taking your responsibilities seriously. And then once you've done your responsibilities, you reward yourself with whatever makes you happy and, you know, fun stuff. You never did this through stream ever. Okay. Maybe that one time you were testing it, but never went online. Okay. Would you want to? Would that be something that would interest you? A uh, knight, squire, militia, footman. Uh, manage this garrison, and we're going to be adding some boys in here. Dragon Drake, yep. That's fine. I hope these guys won't become Highlanders. But what you gonna do? How okay, we're we have enough Rangers. That's good. We'll just let these guys level up on their own. I hope they're not gonna make them into mounted calves. Uh cleric can stay. All of these boys further up again. Uh not not really. Not really. No 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 no. A cure guard can go. I like to bring my numbers down to around two hundred and fifty. Uh, what else do I got in here that, yeah, I could send in some of the Blade Masters. Okay, what am I looking at? 273, Noble Oscar, Knight, Soldier, Bladesman. Um, okay. Put in 10 Bladesmen, and I'm going to put in 10 Rangers. I feel like I'm a little bit high on the Archer count. That's fine. Okay, good, good. We're at 253. Um, that number is going to bother me a bit because it's not 250, but soldiers will die, so let's just go with it. Okay, um, next order of business. Wolfie the Bodhi Bodicia. Hello, man tits. How you doing? I'll accept your Aqualus gem for your freedom. And now we have another one. Oh, uh, no, I didn't want to take a walk around the streets. I'd like to go to the castle. And set up my stuff in here. There. Good. Next up, marketplace goods. Sell those three. And to buy some cheese, because everybody goddamn loves cheese. High arts are being red. Good. Garrison-wise, we're looking at 415 soldiers. I don't think we're, we're going to have any worries of being attacked here anytime soon. We're going to go eastwards to Falcon Dark. We're going to verify that the chest has been emptied over there of all of its goods and loot. And then once we return to Ravenstar, we will go westwards to Cinderfall and try to beat the Ravenstern while they're down. I'm going to wait until the 15th in-game uh, to talk with uh, the Lord of Cinderfall and try to convince him to come to our side. Okay, um... Uh, you see that I'm playing Chernobylite. Yes, um, Spectre donated Chernobylite to me, and usually when I when I receive a donated video game, I play it for a little bit. I should really def eliminate those Mist Mountain armies. Oh my god, there are three Mist Mountain armies. What the fuck? Yeah, they need to go. Um, you would probably stream Warband or something, but won't do it constantly, and you don't want to become noticed or famous. I see. Okay. Uh, I I wish you good luck in that endeavor. Well, if you want to go for it, if you want to do it, um, and I'll give you a raid if you do. There's rumors with some reason behind them that Ghost of Tsushima is going to get a PC version, and you got to say you can't wait for that to happen. Uh, yeah, that would be amazing. I would love for Ghost of Tsushima to be on PC. If it is coming to PC, I really hope that they're um, gonna, you know, optimize it properly, controls wise and bugs wise. I would recommend if it is coming to PC, stay away from it until it reaches, I don't know, a 1.2 patch. 
And once it, it becomes a 1.2 patch, then go and play it. You know, give, give it a little bit of time to, to settle in. Hopefully it doesn't become a Bloodborne situation. What's the Bloodborne situation? Does that mean that um, Bloodborne is not and never will be on PC? Or what, what are you referring to when you say that? Hello, Milklin. Welcome back to the end, and thank you for telling me to hydrate. If you were a VTuber, maybe you don't want to be known. You're in real life self. Thank you very much. I mean, you could just stream without a webcam on. Um, the reason why I have a webcam on is because I feel like it's important to see the person you are talking to. Uh, sadly, I don't really have that honor of seeing who I'm talking to, but at least you have the, you know, you can put a face to the voice. Bloodborne got constant rumors that it'll be on PC, but never was. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like Half-Life 3 uh, got constant rumors that it's going to appear and it's and it's somehow actually already finished and it's being held captive locked in the basement of Gabe but Newell so no please don't listen to rumors um think of it this way oh I heard a rumor that that's gonna happen if that happens I'll love it good walk away from it keep it in your mind put it in a drawer somewhere if that rumor will actually happen awesome you'll be happy if that rumor doesn't happen, don't give a fuck. Walk away. Don't let your life be controlled by some the things that might or might not happen. It's not a healthy way of going with it. Oh no, honor. That's too much, at least for me. Usually like face camless commentary. Could you please elaborate on that, Blue Lion? Why do you like uh, Camelot's commentary? I'd like to hear more about that. And you did stop... So, if I remember correctly, Blue Line, you arrived at hit point in during the time that I was playing um, Generation Zero. What made you stay? Especially since you say that you like uh, Face Camelot's commentary better. Hey, Dash General. I'd say welcome to the inn. I don't think I've seen you here before. Arrivato Busao, welcome back. How you doing, man? From what you heard is that they removed the PlayStation exclusive tag from the box, which was the same thing that happened with Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever it's called. But yeah, Rev, you put it quite well. Hey, if it happens, awesome. If it doesn't happen, awesome. Just take it like that. Welcome back, Spectre. If I got to ask that you get rid of Ravenstern, uh, they only have Cinderfall left. With Cinderfall still standing, I will soon fuck him up. Freddy Farmer Vorder described. Nothing interesting. We're just going to go eastwards. You've been here before like a week ago or something. And then I do apologize, Dutch. Welcome back. I sadly have a problem remembering every everyone that comes and goes. Hey, Spectre. Um... If I remember correctly, you play War Thunder. If so, what do you think of the Vision? I guess is that a, is that a play? Rev is in a very good mood. Thank you. <laughs> How can you tell? I'm not a most active viewer, and I don't ask you to be. It's your choice if you want to be active or not. No worries, man. I'll take out that Jato Warband just to make sure that uh, we deal with. Um, that the farmers in the area are not that harassed. Hey, Dexel. Yes, I am finally back. I'll go into details on what happened in 15 minutes. While I was gone. Haven't been able to watch my, uh, my stream in three weeks. That is... That sounds to me like a you problem. You're talking a lot, you're giving advice, your tone is good, and you just feel it. Okay, yeah. Thanks. You are correct, but I... Even if I don't feel good, I always give advice. Because that's just how I am.
Ah, uh, the first stream. I think the main reason you stayed was because you liked this cozy small community. You also enjoy your commentary, your way of speaking, and the voice. Thank you. Blue Lion. Um, but again, why do you like uh, fa um, Camless streams better? Do you simply feel like the cam is a distraction? There's just too much going on on that side? Uh, what do you think about the new Bannerlord roadmap, like follower captains and pre-battle formations? Uh, those those all sound good additions to the game, Tolirax. The only thing that I dislike about the Bannerlord roadmap is there was no mention on improving AI. There's just no mention on improving the core problem of the game. Well, which I consider to be the core problem of the game right now. Smarter AI behavior. And just AI behavior in general, on the world map, in battles, in sieges, all around. Uh, to me, they they could do whatever they want. They could just go to the extreme. Uh, the, the, the sky is their limit right now, so yeah. Power to them. And I hope they stick to their roadmap and do good shit. But again... The, the main problem that I have with Bannerlord has not been addressed. Or at least, as I understand, it hasn't been addressed. I think you guys have played more Bannerlord than me recently, so tell me if I'm right or wrong. Uh, the Sap 37 looks cool, but it's going to ruin the game. That's up tier. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it does take a long time to type in phone. It's, it's okay, Blue Lion. Take your time. No worries. Um, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere for the next two hours and something, so all's good. Uh, five in the morning, I meant your, your guy's streaming five in the morning for your time. Ah, I see. Yes, it was because I was on the evening shift, that's all. I always um, schedule my stream according to um, my work shift. Because I was on the evening shift for around two weeks or so, I had to stream in the morning. Thus, 5 a.m. for you. I do apologize about that. But there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully it won't be that amount. I mean, okay. Um, I'm with you. The added spear bracing for the AI now. That's a good start. That's good. The fact that they added spear bracing. I feel like it wasn't really needed. It's cool to, that we have it. But I feel like it wasn't really needed because cavalry is not... Is a little bit underpowered as it was. You wanted to ask you're playing Vanilla Warband. You're almost done taking over the world map. The problem you're having is no one will go to war with you. Is there a way to provoke the other faction without losing honor? Um, I don't think there's a way to provoke the other faction without losing honor. But if you're almost take if you are all close to taking over the world. You should have enough honor on your character, if you were focusing on acquiring honor, that one measly uh, war provocation will not make you... will not lose you too much. You went back to playing Pendor. You got bored of Ferizno and it just got dull for you. Pendor's just more balanced, more fleshed out, and feels more comfortable. Really? Is that your conclusion, Duxol? More balanced, more fleshed out, and feels more comfortable. Um, could you give me a little bit extra details on feels more comfortable? Why do you feel like Pendor is a little bit more comfortable? Is it because of the previous two points, balanced and more fleshed out? Time zones want to take control of us? Uh, time zones were always a thing. Before my time, and that will probably be a thing after my time. It's not something that I need to battle against. Never knew why you did like Camless. Maybe it's because you grew up with an usually imagine the player character in the game you're talking it makes you immersed into the video and sometimes the game too okay i see i understand that yes especially for those streamers who do play in character i see your reasoning that's cool um but that would be if it was intentionally meant to no 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 i understand yes 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 for immersion's sake that does make sense Sadly, I can't really go for that. I prefer to have a conversation over, you know, make people be immersed. Okay, uh, Prisoner for You is like a new toy. 
At first you get excited and it's super fun with all the dragons, wolves, bears, OP weapons, armor, OP troops. Fuck tons of different factions and units. Everything is so stimulating and interesting, but like a new toy, uh, after a while you get used to it and it bored you. Okay. I guess that makes sense. We saw people test out the new spear bracing. It's a bit of a shame that you can't reenact Rome Total War 2 Phalanx versus Cavalry and Bannerlord. The pikes still get punched through. Oh, really? So the AI bracing still doesn't work properly. Pendor just, uh, Pendor just feels cozy and familiar. You get used to it and learn about everything, but it never gets dull and gets too easy. I guess. Yeah, it has a good balance. Uh, Mano Gabs, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. Thank you. Um, and it's a good game. They lose against infantry, but absolutely slaughter cavalry. Like they should. I feel like they should go for a rock, paper, scissors type of system. Mano Gabs? Um, I mean, a lot of people are mistaking that. I feel like your username is one of those, uh... Everyone from outside Brazil say it wrong? Uh, okay. I feel like your username is on the side of a little bit on the easier pronunciation difficulty. The map is also way too big and it's going to take too long to conquer Perizno. You feel like there's less to do in the mid and late game? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's cavalry sucks and horse archers too now. Oh, really? They nerfed horse archers? What happened to them? What happened on that side? I'm just glad you live in Romania so I don't miss streams because they stream in a... 3 a.m. from where you live with a different time zone. Oh, okay. Uh, again, I, I guess living in Romania does count towards why my streams are at 7.30 Eastern European Standard Time. Uh, Caratella Tappy, welcome back to the end, man. How have you been? People will say Mano here. Uh, mano means dude. Dude Gabs. Oh. Does it come from Hermano? Which means... Hermano means friend or brother? They shoot from melee range right now. Uh, so they're broke. They suck because they're a, there's a bug. Yeah, probably with a new bracing mechanic, the pikes are better than before, but it still looks a bit sad. Okay. Fucked up, man. Fucked up. Uh, 13. Induct train, one Pendor man at arms to Ravenstern soldier. I see. Or Pendor Knight. Got it. And, yep. The chest is empty. We are ready to leave Falcon Dark for a while. Um, Can't get a baggage train, but that's okay. Garrison-wise, we got... Let's see... Skirmisher, Mounted Men, Jatsu, Horseman, Warriors, one Raven Guard Knight. I'll be grabbing that. So they're going to slowly amass here, which is great. Let's go westwards to our new home, Ravenstern, and we're going to start pushing westwards to Senderfall and see what's going on over there. Um, Mano comes from Irmão, Irmano, uh, like uh, brother, as Hermano, too. They have the same meaning in Portuguese, like in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if I remember correctly, uh, in Brazil, you speak Portuguese or, you know, a regionalized version of Portuguese. I think after playing for a while, you still much prefer Pendor. Uh, their household guard system was way less refined compared to the custom night order system in Pendor. All the minor factions are fucked up, and there are deserters moving at... Uh, uh, there are deserters moving at speed 9. Their units just feel too bloated and ridiculous. Okay. The NPC looks like Tyrion Lannister. Ah, random NPC. I don't really care how they look. Sadly, they feel like just pixels on the screen for me right now because i've been playing this game so much yeah 5k enough for you to lose the glasses that's perfectly fine if you really want to see my tired bloodshot sleep deprived eyes sure you can request it there we go Ugh. 
towards Ravensturm we go. Oh, hello there. Yes, we're going to be attacking that guy. Try to defend some of our boys. Siggy, uh, we're waiting for you to level up by the looks of it. Yeah, it's a legacy left by Portugal after the colonization. And similar to the different type of accents in British and American English. Yep, correct. I was expecting that. Um, Maiden Noble. There. Hey, Siling. Welcome back to the end, dude. How have you been? Okay, charge. Ooh, it's night time and it's uh, raining. Infantry charging directly. There. Pretty cool to know that you're aware of Brazil and the stream's all good too. Uh, yes. Yes. Sadly, it's... I, I know of Brazil because, well, I just have a general knowledge of geography. But sadly, I've also heard that you guys have a uh, cr criminality rate problem. I really hope that you get that you're safe and sound and okay. There we go. I wonder where that I hear first of Brazil. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is Ronaldinho from Brazil? Because I think I think uh, through him I've heard of Brazil for the first time. I see. Okay, so through Ronaldinho, uh, my father is a football fan. Um, so he was watching a lot of football as I was growing up. Uh, because of that, I got exposed to certain nationalities and characters. And I think that's the one of the reasons or where I've heard of Brazil for the first time. Right then, you're going to go sleep. Don't want to miss school. Okay, Blue. Thanks for dropping by. It's good to see you and have a good night's sleep. Yeah, I mean, the problem here is that the politician class don't aim for the cause of the problem. They aim for the consequences. I see. I'm sorry to hear that, and I really hope that things are going to get better. Did you hear about the shit that's happening in Afghanistan? You should check the latest comments on the song Raining Men on YouTube. Um, that's a horrible joke, D-Skater. I am aware of it, and it's a subject that I don't want to deal with on stream. Can you die of old age in the game? You haven't played the game that much. Um, in Banner Lord, you can die of old age. In Warband, you cannot. Hmm? Uh, soccer or football, depending where you're from. Your English is not good enough to describe this feeling. Deep inside of you? Um, what feeling? A thief heard a police officer say my boss just ignored my birthday. Oh, yes, and the thief went and robbed the boss. And he was like, why? And the thief was like, you let your guard down. Is that the joke, lol? A dying of old age in Warband happens when you get bored of the campaign and start over. Yeah, I guess so. That's fair. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew the, the joke. I missed it. Ah, I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Dixal. If you don't want to copy and paste it again or something or rewrite it again, that's fine. But I assume you're referring to the feeling of um, Pendor over Perizno. Okay. Let's keep on going westwards. I don't know why it's not showing up, my man. Peace agreement between the Dushar and Fjordsvein. That's fine. I'm also a little bit surprised that nobody has declared war on Ravenstern. Maybe, maybe the AI is incapable of declaring war on Ravenstern if they're in a civil war. 
which is shitty for me. Relation with a lot of people has increased. Enemies have laid waste the Saffron Gate. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and uh, give them a piece of my mind. Army of enemies near Falcon Dark. It should be okay. I think that's our only village west of the river, so from here now they're going to be forced to, yep, come in. To come in and fight. You're a long way from Cinderfall, boys. Although you do have enough of a force here to maybe put up a fight, we will take these guys out. Yesterday a piece fell from your tooth. Thankfully it was calculus. I feel like that's a joke that I just don't get right now. It's kind of like that pain in your chest when you're extremely heartbroken. There's a pain in your chest that just can't be described. It's how, like, you can't describe the difference in feeling between Pender and Perizno. I see. That's perfectly okay. Up a little bit on the deep side. For, you know, just one video game. Um, but all's good, man. Just play Perizno. Sorry, just just play Pendor. Play whatever you want. Am I a king already? I am helping a claimant out. I'm helping a claimant um, take control of the Ravenstern faction. To be precise, I'm helping Madam Ursula. Nintus clean stuff, and now you're here. That isn't it sounded like one, though. It did. Okay, I hope it was painless. Lol. Are messages that are too long not shown up? They should be, but they I might just have missed it. You're back, you just found out you have school just every two days, so you don't have to school tomorrow. Um when you're saying school, are you referring to the university? Because you if you just found out that you don't have school tomorrow, that sounds like you're at university. Uh, that's okay, Mono. A lot of people are missing the stream name. It tickled. Good to hear. That's fine. Cut it in half to be e th for the messages to be easily di uh, digestible. Okay, so uh, I feel like that's that's enough people. Twenty six people. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to be explaining what happened. Why was I away for one week and how did it go? So I've had to prepare for an upcoming exam. At work, more of an interview. Let's go with that. Um, so I applied for a junior Linux system administrator position at work. And I needed to put in a lot of effort to learn Linux properly. So because um, work was causing a lot of stress and difficulty... And streaming was also consuming a lot of my time. I didn't have enough time outside of it to learn properly for the exam. So the logical decision was um, for one of these activities to go away. And the optional activity was the stream. So I decided to not stream for a week and fully focus on um, learning Linux to the best of my abilities. And it went well. Interestingly enough, I had a full week of um, night shifts, which helped me out. Uh, the night shifts over at my workplace are a little bit on the easier side. There wasn't really a lot of tension, a lot of work, a lot of... Well, no, the work was still there, but it was simple, unstressful work that allowed me to be... Um, not tired enough to properly learn. Um, the interview was this morning. There was only one thing that I didn't know during the interview, but I knew about it. And it's easy to check and correct what I didn't know. Feel like it went well. And that's it. One of the mistakes that I made was I scheduled the interview 
right after a, a night shift. So practically the night shift ended at eight in the morning when I usually go to sleep after a night shift. And then the interview was at 11 a.m. So I did not sleep at all and just waited for the interview to start. So I went I went into the interview incredibly sleep deprived. Um, then I went to sleep at around 1230 p.m. And then I woke up now at 7, uh, 7 p.m. to come over and stream. Uh, because I didn't want to miss on another stream. Uh, so currently I'm fucked up um, from a, from a uh, tiredness perspective. Uh, but it's okay. After the stream, I'm just going to relax, unwind, and sleep to my heart's content. Oh no, I'm actually quite lucid. I'm quite fine from that perspective. I simply feel my eyes incredibly tired. I feel um, a little bit exhausted mentally, uh, but still capable of coherent conversation. If I was, if I weren't capable of coherent conversation, I don't think the interview would have went that well. Um, so yes, now I'm gonna be catching up with what you guys are saying. Yeah, you're in high school, but you, you still have tutors every day. I see. Logical decision would have been to quit your job and go full-time streamer, but hey. Yeah, I know, D-Skater, but uh, my wife was against it. Good thing you choose the stream. Ah, dang it. It was worth it. I really hope it was worth it, Eastling. Um, it, I feel like the interview went well. I don't know how to describe this, but veteran warband players who've played a lot of mods know this feeling. Sometimes you play a mod, you have a lot of fun. At first, everything is so new to you, but then you... You play for a while, but eventually you get to the mid-game. I think you've seen everything. You just need to see see it done to the end, and you just stop. Don't feel like it anymore, and you go to something else. Yeah, I understand the feeling, Duxol. I guess Prophecy of Fendor simply has more consistency. I could have taken uh, today off. I could have, but yesterday I couldn't stream because I wanted to um, do a refresher on everything that I learned, so I decided not to. And on Friday, I won't be able to stream because we have a wedding at Bucharest that we need to attend, and that is a one-day drive. Um, so on Friday morning, we're going to be going on a trip. Thus, I won't be able to stream. So to not deprive... To to not deprive you guys of a of another day of streaming, I decided to do this. Which is okay. I want to stream. I've missed it. I missed you fuckers. And taking a week off of streaming kind of showed me how much I like it. So I'm, I'm happy to be back. I don't feel like a zombie. I'm feeling tired, but I'm in all of my mental capacity. Ma just feels a little bit empty and void. Mm. Hope you're happy streaming, mate. You look like an amazing person. Thank you, Mano. I, I appreciate appreciate the compliment. Wish you the best and hope you get it. It can be so stressing. It was. It was a very stressing. Um, practically at one point, I just couldn't wait to get it over with. You know, I uh, there's, there's that point where I was just so exhausted that I'm like, I don't care of the outcome of the interview. I'm just going to try my best. I just want the stress to be lifted. So that's how it went. People, uh, Peter feels kind of fulfilling and satisfying. You know, always oh, think that you want to play it tomorrow. Yeah. I guess. Congrats on the interview. Now watch people come by and ask you the same thing over and over again for the next month's smiley face. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, D-Skater. Um, I offered you guys the long version of what happened. Uh, I'll, for the rest of the people that are going to be coming back, I'm just going to offer them a, a short version. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. You're fine. That was matter. That sounded exhausting. We missed you too. Thanks, man. Am I tripping? I don't think I am. I don't think I'm tripping. You do feel fresh, enthusiastic, and energetic. It must be the coffee. And I did sleep for around seven hours, so... Well, well six hours, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay. You're always a patient waiter, so don't worry. 
And the fuck was that oh yeah sound? Uh, the oh yeah sound is the sound that I added to donations. I like it. How many fingers are you holding up? Sadly, I can't see your fingers over the internet. So I don't know. I think you're asking ask about your one day trip um so bucharest is at an eight hour drive from here from where i'm located uh so we're going to be starting our journey in the morning um on saturday there will be the wedding itself and then on sunday we're gonna come back well, I think you got an eye infection and your eye is swelling up. Do you have any advice on what you, you should do? Um, yes, if your eye is swelling up, I think you should add um, a cold compress to the eye and go seek out a doctor afterwards to find out why your eye is swelling up. Oh, I'm going to the capital. Yes, I am going to the capital of Romania. I'm actually living on the other side of the country of it. Um, we simply have some relatives who uh, their kids are getting married, so we gotta go. Really like the Eastern Central Europe architecture. It has quite a bit of efficiency influence to it. It's from the communist regimes, but okay. Eight hours is Romania that big? Um, no, I'm a beginner tr chauffeur. Big, what what do you call it? I haven't haven't really have a lot of experience with driving, so um, I'll need to have quite a few breaks on that journey. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. You're holding the phone with three fingers with your right hand, so you can't see you're wrong. Hmm. Am I a calm driver? I hope I am. I hope I'm a calm driver. The country is in big bad. The rail railroad system is shit, and there's a fuck ton of mountains all over the country, which makes it hard to drive across it. I guess. Yeah. I think it's a 400 kilometers from here. I have no clue. I'm a novice traveler. Uh, I guess. I the the furthest I've been by car um, that I drove myself was close to Bucharest, and it was a six-hour drive. I think. Eh, it's fine. Doesn't matter much. Eastern Europe and roads. We actually have decent roads over here. Actually decent roads. Can't really say I can, I can complain. Probably a lot more because like 200 kilometers from where you live um, to where your grandma lives, which is Karakal. Mm, I see. Uh, well, just if, if you really want to know the exact distance, just uh, t try to Google in Zalo. Um, yes, I do live in Transylvania. The northwestern uh, people have been calling me a vampire constantly, Blue Lion. Um, so if you want to check out the exact distance between uh, where I live and Bucharest, it would be Zalo, which is Z A L A U. Um, and then you type in the destination Bucharest, and then you'll see the distance. Your teeth feel weird with all the calculus gone. Okay, uh, just stay safe then. It's it's gonna go back to normal eventually. You do know Romania's mountainous from Hearts of Iron Four and map strategy games. <laughs> okay, yeah, we have a little bit of everything. We have a lot of plains in the south, a lot of hills and mountains in the central, northwest, and northeast, and then to the southeast we also have an opening to see. To see. So we have a little bit of everything. Uh, don't delay that. A teacher had conjunctivitis in the eye, caught it from the sun, but didn't want to postpone it. It swelled so badly she had to go after a week and lost some partial eye vision. Whoo, that is fucked up. 527 kilometers. Well, there, there you go. Thank you. That's the journey that I need to make. Uh, he's our ninja, pirate, vampire, arch, pappy, space innkeeper. Uh, yeah, that's the full title, I think. 
You would think Eastern Europe has decent roads since communist regime did build decent roads. Just look at Russia. No, <laughs> you'd be wrong. I sat, I'm sad to say, Duck Souls, that you'd be wrong on that. We have some good roads, some shitty roads. All countries have their potholes. Let's go with that. You miss Andy, um, Mr. Cox a lot. He started this. Um, I'm sure he'll drop by eventually. Uh, Mr. Cox a lot is, is the type of dude that comes and goes. Just like you. Well, I wonder what Tyrion's doing. Hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's fine. Mm, a little bit of westwards. There we go. They should just die. Trolling requires less water consumption. Well, we'll definitely have water to keep ourselves hydrated. My wife was quite careful regarding that. Hmm? Have less stops as possible. I mean, we'll try to have less stops as possible, but... We'll also stop to eat. That was exactly what you were going to say, Rival. Rival is a vampire. Also, you're going to come to your house. You told us the city. Uh, sure, I'll uh, drop by. We'll go grab a beer. If your eye infection swells anymore, you'll see the doctor. I recommend that you... Uh, do you happen to know why did your ear uh, s swell? If you don't have any idea why it did, I recommend that you go seek out medical attention. You always forget your water can when you leave home? Um, it depends on the journey. I'm, I'm the type of dude that always have has his inventory on him at all times. I always have my backpack. I never go anywhere without my backpack. But in recent years, I haven't re really been um, needing it. Uh, because usually everywhere I go, my wife, my wife's with me and she has this tendency of carrying her bag with her, which contains a lot, deceptively a lot of stuff. Thus, I don't really need my backpack with me anymore. I do feel all but naked without my backpack. Or maybe it's because of the lack of underwear. Hmm. Yeah, I think you were touching your eye. Some dirty stuff and bacteria got in, so it's infected. Ooh, if it's infected, then you would definitely, definitely need to go and seek medical attention. You have no idea. You, you'll you most likely need antibiotics to counteract the infection, Duck Soul. Go seek medical attention, please. And, um, and get better, okay? Please. There's really a cool restaurant in Bucharest called Maison de Crepe. I've uh, been there once. Uh, basically, everything is pancakes. Really, really fun. Would recommend. Oh, my wife would love the place. Women bags, yes. Uh, she's more, a, more, more of a backpack kind of girl herself. Um, but yes. If you go out always with your backpack, your mother will think will think that you're selling drugs. Hmm. I just, I think it's it's from the time uh, that I was a student in university, I would always have a backpack with books and stuff with me. So it just kind of became a thing. Um, and, and I kept using it as an inventory, always had water with me, always had a few books, always had some stuff that I needed a backpack for. So I just got in the habit of it. Hey, Thorn, welcome back to the end, man. Fuck yeah, I'm looking handsome. I'm actually gonna be shaving. I'm I'm prepping this beard to be shaved for the for the upcoming wedding. Your eyes are already tearing for him. <laughs> Jesus. Uh Lord Mormon, you're free to go. Caveman image doesn't suit me. Um, uh, my wife doesn't like it. My wife doesn't like the beard. Hmm? Uh, no, I'm already married. I already went through my wedding. Uh, but no, we have a few weddings that we need to attend to this year. Five, to be exact. Um, so I need to be presentable. For those events. There we go. 
No, you're taking that lumberjack beard, lumberjack beard off. This is not a lumberjack beard. Uh, it's not long enough to be considered a lumberjack beard. But yes, I'm going to be taking it off. I might leave a small goatee, though. To a lot of people, suffer very serious damage from not extremely hard to to acute, acute infections due to not seeking medical attention. Yes, Duck Souls, please stop being stubborn and visit your local physician. You're so out of touch with reality, sorry. Uh, Thorn, it's it's okay, Jesus. You, I'm not expecting you to keep tabs on and know everything about my life, my man. It's fine. How you doing? How have you been, man? How's life? Wooden bags are useful and also creates connections when they need you to hold them for, for them. I guess? I mean, sure, I guess I, I hold my wife's bag when... You know, when it's hot and it's heavy and stuff like that. You like Shade Revol? Shade Revol is superior. It's each of their own. Suddenly, there's no really... I'm lazy. Thus, the beard grows. I'm lazy to shave it. Thus, the beard grows. My wife tells me, Hey, your beard, your beard is bothering me. Revol shaves it. <laughs> so, th that's that's how it goes. My wife says, "Hey, you look messy and unclean, and you're a sha you're a caveman." Raval cleans himself. So, so that's it. Your beer will not grow. You think you'll buy something to make it grow? Mano, you have to work with the cars that you are given. If you can't grow a beard. Simply don't try to have one. We all want things that we don't have. I'm sure you look fine without a beard. You weren't for the vaccination yesterday. You were super sick as fuck today, but feeling better now. Yeah, that's the usual. That's sadly the usual effect of the vaccine. Is it? Was it the second dose, Thorn? You have the same problem and can't grow a beard, then don't give a fuck about it. If you can't grow a beard, just just keep yourself tidy and clean shaved and presentable, and you'll be fine. Yeah, you can't go right now as you don't have a car. You grab a taxi. Duck soul. Um, hello, ye pro hits. I'm sorry, could you please not post links? Without letting us know what's it about, but I feel like you're a bot. You took the vaccine last week, you were like... Buzz Lightyear without an arm? Ah, oh, okay. Revol uncavemans himself? Ah, yes, I will uncaveman myself probably on uh, Friday morning. Or Friday evening. Do just go to a barber shop and glue hair on your face? No, that doesn't sound hygienic and appropriate. When you went to China... They had a very decent roads, even in the more rural areas, but I guess China is a different type of communist regime than, like, Eastern Europe was in the 1980s. Okay, so it's not a... It's... The state of our roads, Not a, it's not about communism, it's not about the regime or anything of the sorts, it's about taking care of them and the materials or the, in, the investment that was used for it. They're fine. As I said, all countries have their potholes in more ways than one. Uh, the job was okay. My arm sore, but that evening, mana was heavy. Uh, yeah, yeah. You did you also have this this just sore muscles in general, not just in the arm, but mostly in the arm. Oh man, you thought every man can grow a beard? Mm, sadly, no. Sadly, not everybody can grow a beard. It's either too the the too rare or the hairs are too thick or stuff like that. You can grow a beard if you use mono monoxidil. I have no idea what that is, so I can't deny nor agree with that statement. Welcome to the end, Kiko Jean. Depends on your genes. I think it does. Messy beard gang. Okay. I feel your pain. You need to do the same. As in to shave. 
I'll meet if uh, Haas uh, follows you or any Haas, you can ban him for good. It's an IP grabber bot. Um, okay, sure. You took Pfizer. Your second shot is in November. Okay, yeah, cool. I took Pfizer as well. Hey, Lunar Bike. Welcome back to the Indeed. Um, was missing your streams or did you take a break? I took a break. Took a break, had them, some things to resolve. I'm back now. Things are resolved. Whole body was down for the count. Uh, legs, lower back, shoulders, it feels so strenuous to do anything or even uh, sleeping it takes effort. Yes, that is correct. Certainly. And yes, I sent to shave and look less caveman-y. Uh, yep, your choice. You can always just not shave and just, you know, trim your beard a bit, arrange it a bit, and you'll be fine. Hopefully your arm will get back. Usually after the second dose, um, things feel a little bit on the sore side, and you might exhibit some uh, feverish symptoms and stuff like that, but it'll go away in a day. World is so big. World is a big Swiss cheese. Who said it was an oval planet? Uh, nobody. I think the official term of... or, or official shape of the Earth is geoid. I think that's the name of the official term of the shape of the planet. Geoid shape. Hey Seth, welcome back to the anime man. Uh, I'm doing fine, I'm just getting back into the thick of things. Into Battlelord, I'm getting back in... Um, streaming. I missed you guys. You're sure you'll be fine for the second dose? I'm sure you will. Are they going to make you get a third shot in Romania? Um, Pfizer doesn't require you to get a third shot. But I did hear rumors that um, the vaccine will kind of become a yearly thing. Like the... Like the... Um, common cold vaccine? We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see how things pan out. Really hope it's not a, it's an attempt of com companies to, you know, do a cash grab. Yeah, it's like an orange. And that's the example that the teachers gave us in school. Uh, yes, yes, the flu shot. It, it, it might become kind of like a yearly thing like the flu shot is. You called your mom and got a doctor's appointment, though it has to be on Thursday. It's also quite hard to go to the doctor due to COVID. I'm sorry to hear that, but if you have an eye infection, you need to seek medical attention. Um, and that's tomorrow, Thursday, right? For you. Most of the day after tomorrow. Uh, they're already talking about the third shot in Serbia. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, the world is a big raptor, and the only continent is Ohio. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that sounds like uh, the cravings of a sane and wholesome and not at all deranged man. Mm -hmm. Okay, duck, do not put salt in your eye. The fuck, man. No, keep a keep a um a cold compress on your eye to help with the swelling, and that's it for now. COVID is like the normal flu; it's easy to get, but it's more dangerous. I guess the day after tomorrow. Okay. Today's Thursday for you. Uh, over here it's Wednesday. You don't know why doctors are off on Wednesday? That's their choice. It's like any other... Any other working day. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not. But no, do not put salt in your eye. Definitely not. Since we have free healthcare, you also can't go to the hospital. It's only for emergencies. Well, if things get worse, duck souls, and you're in major pain, you also should go for... It, it will be an emergency. You don't want to lose your eye. I think that is an emergency. If, you know, things go 
sore. But if you can contain the swelling and if it's not hurting you, you'll just wait um, for the doctor's appointment. Hey, Kiwi. Welcome back to the end, man. Are you, am I challenging you? Um, no, lol. I'm not challenging you. I'm simply telling you what day it is over there. Currently, it's 9... Sorry, it's 5 past 9 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time. Wednesday evening. In Turkey, we soak a piece of cotton with tea to clean the eye. That could work, Lunar Bike, but I'm not exactly sure which tea does that. Do you suggest to apply cold water with a towel? I think paper is not good for it. Yes, put a, um, a towel dripped in cold water on your eye, whichever one it is, and then wait it out. The cold water will help with the swelling. Am I in the future? What day is it? The fuck, guys? Oh, wait. No, no, it's not Wednesday evening. Yeah, my bad. It's Tuesday. It's not Thursday. Thursday is after Wednesday. It's Tuesday. I'm sorry. I'm out of it. It's not Wednesday evening. It's Tuesday evening. My bad. Yes. Yes. My mistake. My mistake. I thought it was Wednesday, but because of all of the night shifts and the un unregular sleeping schedule, I'm a little bit out of it when it comes to time. But no, it is correct. It is Tuesday evening. No, sure it was Thursday evening because two days of work and you're already tired as fuck. I understand. Tuesday evening, tomorrow is going to be Wednesday, the day after tomorrow is going to be Thursday. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rival does not sleep, he hibernates. Oh, God, no. I love sleeping. I, I love it. I cherish my sleeping time. So, no, no worries there. Um, I'm fighting a mismounted army, right? We, we were just talking, and I'm, I'm, I was kind of out of it on what was going on. Large work hours? Uh, regular work hours. Eight hour shifts. Hmm, how was work keeping you? Everything going fine? Yes, everything is going fine. A little bit high on the workload count, but everything is fine. Of course, he hibernates. Look at that Papa Bear beard of his. <laughs> right, yes. You should look at my Papa Bear belly. Covers and humbles his wings and naps for a few years. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. I hibernate when, when things in the night don't go bump and I get bored. Twelve people resigned at your work, so you can imagine that things are tense and all that stuff. Jesus Christ, man. Why did 12 people resign at work? Shit pay? Okay, in other news... In other news, um... I managed to finish the Halo Master's Collections... Master's Collection Edition. It was enjoyable. A little bit on the repetitive side, because I was fighting literally the same enemies every... Every game, except with four. Um, but enjoyable. The doctor's gonna give you a call? That's great. Hello, Fu Hang. Welcome back to the end, man. I'm doing fine. Doing good. Chillin'. Uh, mismanagement? Finance-related issues, things like that. I really hope that HR is capable of paying your salary, Thorn, and you don't have any issues. Really hope that's the case. Have I played Mass Effect? Yes. I have not played the, the Legendary Edition, though. Um, basically, they encourage the idea that, that people work on a contractual basis. Mm. Let me see. 
that's weird, but they should still be capable of, you know, being held down by a contract, as in they would need to honor their deal. So hopefully it was not a shady contract. We're getting paid just not on time, so it kind of pushes the idea that people are fed up. I see. Thank you, Puhang. Um, so after I finished Halo Master Collection, um, I started playing a little bit of Doom. The, you know, the new version. Don't have Doom Eternal, but I'm currently playing the Doom re Ma, re interpretation. Spear looks so good, just stab from afar instead of getting too close. Uh, yes, it does feel good, and I just noticed that I'm on kind of auto battle mode. Hmm? Oh, nice, good news for a change. You'll be moving soon. Next year in March and April, we're moving to a beachy area. That's awesome, as long as not a bitchy area. Ha <laughs> ha, that was horrible. You wanted to play Doom? Um, Doom. I, I, I'm gonna put it in a way that I read on the internet. Doom is a heavy metal album with a free game attached. And it's very enjoyable. They, the weapons feel meaty, the enemies feel meaty, in the sense that there's a lot of chunks coming out of them. Uh, so, yeah, that's good. I killed you with that joke? It's not mine, I will not take credit for that joke, it's simply a joke that I've read on the internet re regarding Doom. And I do have to agree with that statement. Uh, the soundtrack is amazing, graphics are nice to look at, uh, the overall gameplay is fast-paced and you always need to be on the move. Interestingly enough, I love the assault rifle and using it as a sniper rifle and killing my enemies from afar. And the game kind of promotes the fact that you should be in close quarters when fighting. Um, it does give you a chainsaw. So, yeah. Your parents will be re retiring and you'll go with them because you know old people. You're a good son, Thorn. That's good. Oh, you were talking about the bitchy area? Uh, I see. It's horrible. It, it was a horrible joke and I apologize. I, I feel like I should I should make a written apology to you guys for that joke. But it still stands. I really hope that you're not going to be living in a bitchy area. Nobody wants to live in a bit, bitchy area. <sighs> Good. Ooh, 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 I feel I feel a strain in my in my voice in my throat. No, oh, I've been talking too much. Good signs. Waiting for the apology. No, just I just need to make a YouTube video, uh, an entire stream where I'm just standing on a bare rug, naked, in front of a fireplace, saying, "Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry." Sorry. That's that's what I should do, right? Makes sense to me. Yeah, we'll try to get rid of all of the Miss Mountain armies now. They no longer are of use to me, so they should go. It's been fun. We had a nice laugh. We'll go for it. But the views I'll be famous, I'm fine. I don't want to be famous because I've shown my hairy ass on the internet, okay? South Park will adore me for it? Oh, I might get a shout out, that's true, but no. I should write a song? No, I shouldn't. You made a severe and continuous lapse in your judgment and you don't expect to be forgiven? is the best apology you've ever heard. Mm. I prefer the, I fucked up, I'm sorry. Not really sure how to apologize. But I'm not gonna apologize for the joke that I made. 
It was a dumb joke, and people should understand that, and that's it. I mean, to be honest, you fucked up. I'm sorry is good enough. Yep, true. I might sing, uh, you know, the Raggedy Bones song. I'm only human, after all. Which I really like, but nah. It, was, it would just be a nice addition. I fucked up. Sorry. Yeah, it's short and sweet. I'm not, I'm, fuck, I'm not writing a eulogy. I'm not gonna go on an, a, a ten point essay on why... Why I feel bad on what I did, that's just dumb. It's too late now? It's too late to apologize. Shit. Then I'll just leave, live with it. I mean, I've already... I'm already accustomed to the fact that not everybody's gonna be satisfied. Usually the majority will be unsatisfied with the shit that I do. But hey. What you gonna do? It happens. It's okay. Hey, those apologies that turn into people just bragging about how much they're working out and shit. Look at me, I'm a good person because I'm lifting 100 kilos 50 times a day. Uh, weird flex, but okay, D-Skater. Hey, Eric Nader. Welcome back to the end, man. How you doing? Before you ask, things went great. Write a My Dying Bride eulogy style apology song that's about 25 minutes long. Fuck no. I am definitely not going to be going through that. Thank you very much. Hmm? Actually great or sarcastically great? Uh, great. Not sarcastic. It went well. Feeling good. Very tired. Need to sleep. Rebalance schedule. Losing glasses to show my tired eyes because Lord Napoleon... Welcome back to the end, man. Uh, no, 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 I haven't received the yes or no yet. But from the way the interview slash exam went, I'm I'm seeing no reason why not. Why it would not be a yes. We'll see. Um, you think you've seen PewDiePie react to one of those two minutes in the apology video and you don't even know what's it about? Oh, that's stupid, but okay. Um, are we still fighting? Oh my god. Oh, why? Why are we still doing this? Are we here? Okay. Okay, 176. That should be fine. This is the last wave. This is the time to kill all of them. Hmm? And whom are you conquering now? Which faction is crying because of your presence? Uh, Ravenstone is crying because of my presence. Uh, they still have Cinderfall on and I need to take them. Uh, currently killing off the Mist Mountain armies that are plaguing our territories. Because I don't want them and I don't need them anymore. Yeah, you spent 4.5 4 hours driving on a trip that was supposed to last like 2.5. What happened? Uh, traffic? The weather conditions? Your soul? How you doing, man? You ran into so many accidents, it was insane. Oh, Jesus. It's fucked up. Hey, lol, thank you for subbing. I think this is the first time that you've ever subbed. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Fresh ones, too. Again, fucked up. You just talked to the doctor. He's just a warm water press. He asked if there is any redness or any swelling on the eyeball. Then you replied, no. Okay, so a warm compress. My bad. Jesus, I... Told you the exact opposite of what a doctor would have said. I should have shut shut the fuck up. I'm sorry for giving you bad advice, Duck Souls. Jesus, I really am. He said that if there's any change in vision or change in the eye, you should. Oh. Okay, only your upper eyelid. Okay. How dare I spread fake news? I, I fucking apologize for that one. I I am now gonna make an apology video of one hour long. 
That was fucked up. But usually, when something swells, you apply cold water to it to stop the swelling. Uh, but, um... Uh, yeah, I almost blinded a guy, Jesus. I should shut the fuck up. I should remember to put sad music in- I will. I will definitely remember. <sighs> Applying more coffee to the body. Gotta gotta put that coffee in to make this body work a little bit more. Put the Doom soundtrack? Oh yes, because definitely that that's definitely putting the Doom soundtrack in an apology video will be the epitome of showing how sorry I am. <laughs> Let's stop. I'm not gonna be doing an apology video. Spray some water for fake tears? Oh, oh yes. Actually, no, it's fine. That's fine, I don't think I need to spray water for fake tears. Instead of the swelling increase, then it's getting worse to go to the hospital for an emergency. If there's anything in the eyeball or eye itself, go to eye doctor. Okay. Uh, yeah, my wife's doing well. Thanks for asking. The posture check was drinking coffee. I already have my posture check. I'm already sitting in a correct position, so... Posture check has been fulfilled, Thorn. No worries. Okay, everybody charge. I feel like we can just go ahead and clean this up. There we go. A bit. A bit to the right. Luckily, he said it's unlikely to be an eye infection. It's not that easy to get get that from just eye rubbing. Okay. Speaking of eye rubbing. There we go. Uh, mate, here in Brazil, we have some esports organizations that sign some contracts to streamers. What about where you live? Is it a good chance to give a bonus to your streams? Um, I don't play any esports. I don't don't think playing Prophecy of Pandora, playing strategy games, have has ever been considered to be an... Actually, no, 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 I stand corrected. Uh, StarCraft is actually an esports, Dota, League of Legends, stuff like that. Those are strategy games. Those fall in that category. Uh, you could even say some of the first-person shooters that are considered to be esports are also strategy games. Um, Age of Empire 2, yes, never mind, never mind, I stand corrected. That was a very stupid statement of me. Uh, but no, 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 I don't think I'm going to be getting a Warband contract, a uh, Warband esports contract anytime soon. Since there's nothing in the eye, it's itself, he told me to see him on Thursday and check why your eyelid is swelling. Okay. Despite Total War trying to make it one? Oh, um, well, I could see, I could see, uh, the you know, Warhammer multiplayer thing to be to become an esports, but they gotta add some two v twos, three v threes, and one v um one of you ones in there to make it more interesting. Mountain Blade Esports. Oh yes. Whoever gets um you know um King Harlouse's butter first wins wins the game. To be honest, there's only official Warband land tournaments where the only official Warband land tournament was held in Romania. Yes, it was at Bucharest. But it didn't count on, so I think they stopped. Server 2 against Koreans. Man, you'll be fucked within the first three minutes of a game. I, I guess. If they do a tower rush, or a cannon rush, or a zerg rush, yeah, you can get fucked up in the first three minutes of a game. Or maybe a barracks rack hidden somewhere, um... You know, with a Reaper rush. Yeah, I know. I know that you can get fucked up if you cheat if you get cheesed in the first three minutes of the game. Thorn, it's fine. Only multiplayer games I think have a sports. You could be wrong. Uh, no, Duck Souls, because there's also um, speed runs for single player games. But I don't think speed runs will ever become a esports anytime soon. Oh, you meant Tales World is trying to make a Mountain Blade into a sports thing? Yeah, they're really trying hard, but they will fail at it. Because the multiplayer aspect of uh, Battle Lord is not fleshed out enough yet. So, good luck with that. 400 APM on average for a pro player. Great. I can have 400 APM as well. 
it just click very, 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 very fast in one location, and I have 400 APM. The important thing is how you use that APM, Thorn. Uh, to be honest, Solar War Arena could have been a really fun esports esportsy game since it requires a lot of communication between players. I, I guess uh, they legitimately did, did try to set it up with Warband and tailored Bannerlord multiplayer to their idea of esports. Suspect they suspect they fucked up. Um, so there are ways of making Bannerlord into an e uh, the Bannerlord multiplayer into an esports. They just need to add some some multiplayer modes that are pro popular enough to warrant that esports. So, for example, I don't know. I'm thinking of a VIP mode where you have one player that's selected as the VIP. If he dies, you lose the round and you need to kill the enemy player's VIP. All of the other soldiers are respawning constantly. The player VIP is the only one who doesn't respawn. If he gets killed, the battle is over. Best out of five, and then you go from there. Capture the flag, holding the flag, um, king of the hill, sieging. How fast do you siege and win the fight? Uh, you could make some interesting, uh, you know, 10 man, 25 man, 50 man, 100 man sieges where clans are competitively playing for for money and stuff like that. Um, they could make some interesting things, they just need to do it right. What happened to Total War Arena? Never saw any news about it? I don't know. To be honest, there were events like Games Done Quick in real life speedrun conventions, I guess. Those are some nice ideas. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Just think. I'm, I'm literally stating the first thi thing that comes into my mind unfiltered right now. That's a problem of and Warband of the community organically chose the battle mode, single respawn rounds, but they tried to shove the captain mode with Bannerlord despite everyone telling them it was a horrible idea. Even captain mode can be um, incredibly successful, but what I would do with captain mode... So, the thing with captain mode is that uh, matches end too quickly. What I would do is I would make the maps bigger in captain mode and take it from 6 versus 6 to 10 versus 10 so the armies feel bigger. Maybe even increase the amount of soldiers you have in one squad. Just push it to the limit. Make it feel like it's an army versus an army. Not a few stupid squads here and there against other stupid squads. So, the idea of Captain Mode is good, they just need to make it bigger, make it grander, make it feel cooler. That's all. Um, it got taken down and I think it's the only in Asia or something, never caught on since it turned into a pay-to-win shitfest while it was still in early, early access. Mm. Revol, I want to equip your custom head order with, uh... Top tier Noldor equipment. By the time you're ready to kill Noldor Lords for if you would expect to have already unlocked all the and befriend the Noldor. How do you suggest you beat the Noldor Lords? Don't beat the Noldor Lords, just use the equipment that you unlock from the from the vendor in Elecrae. There's no reason for you to beat the Noldor Lords. If you do want to beat the Noldor Lords, you'll just have to face the unnecessarily amount of losses that you're gonna be going through. You know what? A few stupid squads against a few stupid squads is exactly how Total War Arena was. That's fine, um, but Captain Mode kind of gives you the idea that you are the commander of a, um, you know, a company of men. They don't feel meaty or big enough. If you don't lock Elecrae, it will you struggle a lot. Well, first of all, you're not going to be able to get the victory condition. Um, but you should be, in theory, fine. Huh. The idea is good, but it's all over the place and got multiple design issues, which resulted in toxic cheese meta, even more amplified by horrible balance on top. Um, it's going to be difficult. It's definitely going to be difficult to balance the game out, but I'm sure it's not impossible. I'm sure it can be done. I don't want any of the soldiers. They just need to... Um, so, 
their job right now, what Bandler should wholeheartedly 100% focus on is balancing soldiers and uh, now I'm only talking about multiplayer. If we're we're taking multiplayer, they need to balance their soldiers until they there no cheese tactics can be utilized. And if they do utilize cheese tactics, they it the cheese tactics can be easily punished, which is very difficult. Um, I mean, we can just say, oh yeah, they just need to balance that. It's incredibly difficult to balance that because you cannot usually predict what players are going to come up with. So. They will need to balance uh, balance loadouts out a lot in multiplayer, and they need to add some interesting, risky, fun modes that people w could get into. And that's it. You want them to be stronger than Twilight Knights. Okay, just uh, make sure to level up your companions, train them up, take your time, grind for the levels. You're also going for a horse archer and want spirit horses than shields. Okay. There were more server and connectivity issues. Basically, there's more people playing Warband multiplayer than Bannerlord multiplayer. That's sad. Uh, you're hopping off. Going to play some NBA or The Witcher 3? Thank you, uh, Mano. Thank you for dropping by, and I wish you a lot of fun in those video games. Seems Anson leveled up. That's great. Um, Get strength. Get swole, Anson. Hmm? Just have a squad of naked dudes running around really fast while slinging javelins at the enemy. You so hope that's an exploit in Metal Lord Commander mode thing? Hmm. But uh, Anson's looking like a boss? Yeah. Yeah, he, he, do he does look like at least a mini boss. Okay. Uh, Power Strike... Athletics. I uh, will give him. No, I don't want to give him writing right now. There's no point in doing it. Uh, we'll go with shield, and then I'm gonna start putting points into power strike and iron flesh. Uh, that's the thing, though. They already made it right with Warband, but they forced themselves into horrible positions because they invested time in horrible systems that are impossible to balance. But they won't abandon them because of sunken cost fallacy. I'm not going to be making Anson into a lord, but I did prepare him as such. From here on out, I'm just going to be increasing his combat stats. If he levels up any further. Uh, because I'm going to be a vassal of the new Ravenster faction soon, there's no point in me in, of me in making Anson into a lord. I don't. I will not have that option. Lord of Davakar. Uh, missed, another Mist Mountain army has spawned. Jesus Christ. Uh, Ursula is the rightful king. Come on. Awesome. He came to our side. Good. Uh, Lord of Davakar is now part of the rebels. I think I can start convincing a lot of people. They literally only have Senderfall, so uh, the lords should start coming to towards our side. I think a good strategy would be to wait for a while until their Noldor troops take a lot of losses and fight a lot of battles where the Noldor amount decreases dramatically and most of their army is made by ran random rescued prisoners. I guess, uh, Duck Souls, you can also just bait them into fighting constantly and weakening one of the major factions. And once they're in a weakened state, you just go fuck them up. I will, well, I haven't really decided if I'm going to be stabbing Ursula in the back, but I don't think I will. Stab Ursula in the back because I want this playthrough to be over. I want to end it. Anyway, we're really tired, so just gonna head off to bed. I'll good luck with the stream. Take care. Hopefully, you'll catch the stream tomorrow. Thanks, D Skater. Thank you for dropping by. It's good to be back. Okay, let's travel towards Cinderfall. I am super curious to see if we can we can actually end this war without bloodshed. I'm going to wait until the 15th of June, and then I'll talk with the Lord of Centerfall to try and convince him to join our side. Um, Lord Gustav. And some people have escaped. That's fine. 
Uh, the bigger their army fights, the more it grows, and because of how Autocal works, the trash troops will soak to damage away from the Nordor ones. That's true. You're just gonna need numbers and expect a lot of losses against them. Nothing here. Aha! Found them. Declaration of war between the Dishar and Sarleon. That's fine. Um... Ah, uh, sure. I'll I'll go there, and check what's going on. Oh yeah, let's kill Lord Hengist. Definitely. Well, we'll, we'll destroy them both. <clears throat> uh, not on this map though. Mm, better. Up there, up in the tree. Or lure them into something like a heretic army or a chateau army or anything that can deal a lot of damage without giving too many prisoners. I agree as I deal. Uh, true. True, true, true. Yes, if you if you pit the minor faction armies against each other, that is also good. I agree more. Um, Dread Legion could also work. Try to go with the powerhouses. Even Jatu, I think, could put up a good fight. Oh, actually, no. Back it up a bit. Ooh. I actually thought that I would get attacked. I would get hit there. Seems I got lucky. Hmm. Agrim is ideal because he doesn't really have many prisoners and he can burst them into zombies. True. Agrim gets swole. They tend to leave and run away without taking too much damage. Okay. I mean, it is going to be difficult for um, a Noldor Lord army to uh, catch the enemy, but I'm sure it can be done. Especially if you find yourself a cam, uh, you know, a army, a ma major faction campaign or a marshal. And yeah, you just fight. Mm hmm. Partial stacks. Where you hopefully will try to keep the marshaled campaign in, in, in a cohesion. Yep. I think after their army gets big enough with rescued prisoners and trash, they'll get confident and attack a city. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Noldor are capable of attacking a city, you know, and sieging it like, like the other minor factions. I haven't really ever seen them do it. But we'll see. But I did notice that the army, the major, the minor faction armies will only attack cities that they know that they have a chance of winning, you know. And I tested this out, um, I think at Ravenstern? The Noldor have sacked Pointsbrook? Ooh, shit! That's cool! So apparently it's a thing. That's actually pretty dope. That actually opens up some interesting strategies. Oh, definitely. Just lure the Noldor to all major cities. Hell, if you can, maybe even help in the siege. You know, on the side of the enemy, so and try to kill as many of them as I as you can. They're usually so far away from the big cities. You just make them follow you. If you're going to be an enemy to them, you should be able to bait them. I'm going to go and deal with this guy. Got him. 
They don't want to make it out that far away from the forest, so they don't usually stack. Sack. Sure. And also make a tweak that increases likelihood of minor factions assaulting cities. I guess. By the way, Aragnator, I stopped at the poll. That was enough time. Battle Brothers won. But, um, No Man's Sky was literally one vote behind. Gonna be charging everybody in. Ah, shit. Ooh. Got him. I don't don't mind if somebody else got the kill. As long as I didn't fall. Good. Seven to one. Lord Hengis, you're my prisoner. Lord Conrad, you're my prisoner. Oh, we've uh liberated Lord Gustav. That's cool. Relation with the Bacchus Empire has increased. Okay, weird. No Man's Sky might be a decent game now, but it's still extremely boring to watch. I think the only appeal that I would have for people to watch would be I'm going in blind. So I haven't done any research. I have no idea how No Man's Sky is played. Um, so it would just be me discovering its systems and exploring a new world. I think that's the only thing that I have going for it. You're role-playing as the daughter of your previous character. He died in Elecrae, so she's getting revenge for him. Okay, good luck with that. Fool's errand, but good luck. You had to save Scum to beat Elecrae. Okay. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Oh, I saw somebody. 10k... Wages, wages, good. Making bank. Count Carolus, it's time to kill you. Ah, uh, you're a piece of shit. Gonna take you out. Mm -mm. Different position. Oh, holy fuck, yes. I think we won, boys. Hmm? Sorry, Mom wasn't feeling too well. Had to go check. Lol. You don't have to apologize. What the fuck, man? Especially if... If your mom's not feeling well and stuff like that. Go! Stay by her side. If need be. There was this guy who had videos of him defeating Electra on full difficulty setting, I think, using mostly heroin adventures. That sounds tedious as fuck. Okay. That's, it's the side of a mountainish hill. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Your cheese stress are far more OP. Okay. Also far more cringe. Okay, I literally don't give a fuck about Elecrae. There's nothing to be had in taking that city. Nothing. And sadly, I don't want my dick to be bigger, because I did... I do know for a fact that if you take Elecrae, you actually receive two inches on your penis. I don't want to. It's okay. You to make sure to go up on that hill? Yeah, I'm nah. Bragging rights are extremely important. Oh yes, definitely. So fucking important. Such important. Oh no. However will I go without the bragging rights? Hmm? 
Hey, Happy Moosey. I think I'll also accompany her. Uh, not sure if I'm needed or just be a clug in the hospital. I mean, your father, brother, and sister are there. You should go, lol. I don't know what's going on, but you should go. Hmm? Uh, Revol's dick is already big enough, or else this man wouldn't have been able to get a wife. No, that that's not important, the duck soul. Actually, I have quite a small penis. Um, but the way you use it is how it works. Oh, no, definitely. I did not get a wife because I have a big dick. Definitely, that was not the case. When do you find out? When do you find out if you landed the job? I have no idea. We'll see. Soon, hopefully. Yeah, that would be the best action. But I've been wrong about the cold compress, so I don't know. Oh my god, they still have more? What the hell are those guys doing? Hmm? What will be my job duties if you make it? Monitoring. Monitor servers. Monitor servers, systems, and stuff like that. And um, if they fall down, restart them, do a little bit of troubleshooting. And if I can't fix them, I simply log them with a third line. That's it. Hmm? You tuned in just in time here for a description of my deck? It wasn't over a secret. Because, weirdly enough, people have been asking about it. Hmm? Um, a little bit extra stuff, Arachnator, besides that. There are a few extra tasks and stuff. But around that ballpark, sure. That's some insane range. Are you talking about the enemy movements, Duxol? Or about the new job position or about my dick? Because apparently there's multiple thread conversations going on. Apparently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the you were talking about the range of the archers. Okay. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm getting so many kills, oh my lord. Look at the destruction, brothers. Look. How the... Jesus Christ. Hmm? Ah, uh, it's pretty normal for viewers to joke about, uh, dick size? Yes, I think it is. It's pretty normal in general for men to joke about dick size. I know, Arachnator, I know I'm a god with throwing weapons. There is no denying it. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Exquisite. There is no room for improvement. Perfection has been achieved. Ouch. Oh, sure, the Bladesman died. Good. Hey, sub. Nope. Ball's over. Battle Brothers won. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was close. It was one vote for Battle Brothers over No Man's Sky. But it is over. Okay.
124 uh, votes total last time you checked. Um, if you guys want to check the poll, um, the link should still be live in Discord. I've deactivated the command from this side, but if you go check the link from Discord, you should be able to still see it. Um, but any votes that ha will be cast from now on, I will not take it in into consideration. Does anyone know what the absolute best one-handed weapon possibly that you can get for your new knighthood order? Um, we'll check once we get uh, back to a castle. Okay, that's all. There was probably your 2021 chance of seeing you play No Man's Sky. If you do donate No Man's Sky, I will play it on a Friday sub. Strange Ebony Saber is definitely up there. Yep. Decently lengthened. Incredibly fast. Decent damage. Yeah. It will it will um cause a lot of stuttering for your enemy. It's a powerful weapon. Glove Stefan Ivanus Gable Livius Burgundus. Really, the Lord of Cinderfall is not here. It's the highest damage from all of the Ebony One Handers. Cool. Wait, isn't it the Ebony Knight Sword? Yeah, I mean, you unlocked ones you probably don't have the best. I know. I know I probably don't have the best, but I do have the um, the Noldor stuff, so I think I'll be fine. How do you donate? A uh, Steam gift card or something, or just drop the cash on you? Um, I think if you go on Steam, in the shop, you should have the gift option. Sub. Or if you, you know, just buy the code and provide me with the activation code for the game or stuff like that. I guess that's how you donated. At least that's how uh, Spectre donated Chernobylite. He gave me the code, and I just activated it in Steam, for example. Yeah, the Ebony Knight Sword is slightly inferior. Okay, I sadly don't know them by name. I just know that the Ebony Weapon series is quite up there. What the fuck? Oh my god, you're raiding Bazik. You crazy motorbone sons of bitches, you. What the... I, you gotta love that anti-player bias, man. You gotta love it. Also, the only ebony one-handed locked behind unique spawns is the ebony katana, basically. Uh, okay. Let's go eastwards. We will find them. We will end them. Even if they do burn Basak, I will burn them. Elephant killer. Um, I'm sorry. Elephant killer is a weapon in the game? Or that I just... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What you're thinking of is ivory uh, sub. Ivory is from elephants. Uh, ebony is something else. Ebon ebony is a different material. Ivory is the material that... Um, that uh, elephant horns are made out of. I'll, I'll deal with that mismatter army a little bit later. Oh, they're still chasing me. That's cool. A uh, tree, yes, sure. Let's let's go with that. Uh, definitely a tree killer for equipping people with ebony. Is ebony wood? Hmm. I thought I always thought that it was some form of ore. Everyone knows that the trees are just sleeping elves. Oh yeah, yeah, the trees deserve it. Kill them all. Kill all knife is. Thought it was fossilized ivory, but but maybe not. No, 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 no definitely not. It might be Orin Pendor, but in real life it's just rare wood. Okay. Duke Alexis, it's time to destroy thy soul. Sadly, we're going to be fighting there at night time, but hopefully the proficiency will carry us.
I guess cavalry charger, not bad. Beautiful. Main adventure got killed, I'm not gonna cry. One of the most expensive furniture materials out there. Okay. Would have been hilarious of Ebony, or, well, if Ebony swords were actually made out of wood and they would be the best blunt weapons in the game. That'd be hilarious. And kind of cool at the same time. To try to kill. Ranger was killed, really. Mm, getting shot to bitsies a bit. But I am providing a decent distraction to them. A sword made of wood, interesting. Ah, well, I would probably make a mace. Um, definitely not make it a sword, make it a mace. So, so something like elves would do? Mm, no, I do imagine elves having very, very, very sharp rocks. Hello, Raval. Hey, Confused Slot, welcome back to the end. I'm actually surprised that the bot knows how to pronounce my name. That's kind of cool. Uh, Revolver two-handers for your knighthood order. Is the ancient rune axe better or the ebony flame burger? <laughs> no, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. How you spell it. Um, I think I used the uh, runed two-handed blade or something like that. You could see elves using obsidian or something. Yeah, I guess. Or some weird form of stoned wood there got Duke Alexis off of the table yet again oh wow he really took me on a on a trip I'm gonna go to Baz I'm gonna go to Falcon Dark make sure that everything's okay there and then we're gonna go back westwards can't believe that they literally beelined to Basic to burn it down. That is so stupid. Well, he did mention axe and a sword, so I guess he and I think it's free game to go for whatever. But he did mention two-handed, so I think it only applies to uh, any weapon that applies to the two-handed stat, Eric Nader. I think that's our restriction. Shrine, Knights of the Dawn to Men, we erect a shrine to Astria here and say we have to tear down all other shrines. Eh. We've sent the pilgrims away. Good. Next up at Falcon Dark. Let's see. Uh, nothing. Oh, we do get a baggage train. That's cool. Knights, seven days. Soldiers, 25 days. Good. And let's go westwards. Do I drop at Points Brook? I do have to drop at Points Brook. A lot of loot. And then we'll visit, uh, Orin, Vezian, and Ravenstern, because those are now my fiefs. So currently we have one, two, three, four, five fiefs under our ownership. Hmm? If you were cheating the poll, No Man's Sky would have won. Thank you for not cheating, Sub. <laughs> that's that's a weird statement. If I were if I were cheating, I would have something something. It's okay. Oh, you are a Q several times? It's okay, man.
thank you for not cheating and keeping it honest. Oh, Jesus. I just went overboard. Reclaimer. Oh, it's a spirited iron bread. That's why. Let's not sell that horse just yet. Oh, what the fuck? What jumped? Oh, I simply sold too much stuff, huh? The hell? Was it the armor? I guess it was the armor. Okay. I really, I really wish you, you two boys would get along. But hey, gotta do what we gotta do. I'll go to the castle. Actually, there's nothing I can do over at the castle, so there's no point. I'll just grab some extra food here and there, because I like my boys to have variety in their diet. And plus, we can afford it now. Okay, let's go westwards. We're going to go to Vizine, Orin, and Ravenstern. Try to fight... Along the way, whatever we see fit. Army of enemies, army of enemies, relations are increasing. And there it is, another Mist Mountain army. Jesus. We should get rid of it. Any level ups? No. Night oh, Night Adventurers. Would love it if they could get caught. Two Mist Mountain armies. Okay, I don't think I can find 2,000 soldiers. When was the last time I tried to convince the Duke of Sunderfall? I don't know, but I'm waiting until the 15th of this month. And that afterwards, I know for a fact that I'm going to be able to uh, discuss politics with him again. Uh, sure, I'll visit Vizine soon. Oh my god, there's another Mist Mountain army to the north. There's three Mist Mountain armies. Jesus Christ. Okay, those lost interest. I can fight these guys now. Hmm? What was the other option? Sending money? I'm um, sorry, what What are you referring to, Eric Nader? Oh, this is going to be a shitty battle. The heartbeat quest notification? Uh, yes, you do have an option of just sending 500 money to not deal with it anymore. That is a thing. This is going to be horrible. Biggest weakness of my army. Lack of vision. Who's on that masterful, majestic horse? Sir fucking Rain. He is the big boy rider. You don't need to see, just keep shooting. Yeah, from the, from the amount of soldiers they have, that would be viable. Oh god. That's not viable. Probably gonna retreat a bit. Re-engage with some of my casualties. Oh shit, we only went through only 53 of them? That is... surprisingly accurate. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. 
Well, they're charging in, I guess. That's the thing. Oh, I see some silhouettes over there in the fog. Just get them off the horse. Shit, shit, shit. At least I'm stopping at the charge, which is okay. Cavalry start charging in. Try to help out here. The thing is, once they're in the infantry line, they're close enough to get point-blank shot at, shot in the face. That's good. The only thing that I'm worried about are these guys. I'll let them get close and see how we fare a bit. If I could distract some of them to come towards me and not go towards my infantry line and stuff, that'd be great. But we do have to notice that the archers are quite ber quite powerful berserkers themselves now with their stats. Oh god, hero adventurers, what the hell? Where did these guys come from? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems a contingency of hero adventurers are causing a lot of problems right now. Where did they... How did they get into this army? I have no clue. But they're causing issues. There. They spawned in it? Maybe. Ooh, no. This will do. Ah, I hate this. Ah. What are the... Well, there's not really a good indication on the world map to show that we are in a foggy situation, but hey, what you gonna do? Right there, please, don't follow me. Just gonna stop them a bit here. So they can get shot. And now I'm gonna go charge in the cavalry and I'm gonna try to kill as many of the horse archers as I can. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are high tier adventure boys. Going for the adventure time. Okay, those two are not. Ooh, damn, that's a fast trigger. Trigger finger, man. Jesus Christ. Got him. Okay. Uh, Bear Claw Berserkers are within the Archer lines by the looks of it. To get them out of there. Got him. What's going on over here on the front? Yeah, infantry is bypassing my infantry, like, well, strategically speaking, like they should. But I'm starting to see trash in their army, so that's fine. Go. A knight that ran out of ammo. That's cool. Hmm. 
Good. Things are still looking nice. Is that from the Mount of Horse Archers? Well, the good thing is they don't... They can't shoot straight either. So they'll just waste their ammo and eventually go into melee. But they do get the occasional kill here and there. Yeah. Actually, that's a hefty amount of horse archers now that I'm looking at it. That's dangerous. I can try to tell them to charge in a bit. Okay, okay, um, they will be losing some of their horses, Is it, it is inevitable. There we go. And that's gonna make him even more dangerous because they're gonna have a higher accuracy on foot. Jesus. Good. Is this the edge of the map? Yes, it is. Oscar was killed by Merc Warrior. Damn. What happened? Is Leslie down? Am I still gonna finish D&D? Uh, D&D. Uh, Dark's Dungeon? Yes. Yes, but this week we're gonna go with Prophecy of Pandora because it's just a three days uh, stream week. Because on Friday I'm not gonna be able to stream because I'm gonna be out of town. Wedding at Bucharest, so... Which I have to attend, so... Yeah. Can somebody catch that guy? Just killing through the fog. As much as we can. I'm, I'm literally randomly running around trying to... Attack... Anything that doesn't have a flag on their head. It would be a damn shame to stop the Darkest Dungeon stream now. Hey, Max. How you doing, my dude? Got him. More enemies are coming from the front. Okay, we're going to retreat and regroup. Dude, five men. A bit in a tired state. Well, it's evening, and it's a good time for you to chill. To relax and maybe take it easy. There. Yep. Hey, Raziel. Welcome back to the end, man. How have you been? How do you do? Okay, that is... that is missing by a long margin. Also, that's a decent amount of uh, melee caps that they still have. Pretty good. I'm doing pretty good as well, man. A little bit tired, a little bit hungry, but... Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna be eating some boiled eggs. With uh, maybe some salami and some cow cheese. After the stream. That sounds yummy. Oh yeah. The weather conditions are definitely not favorable for this fight. Fire. Hard boiled eggs and bacon is one of your favorite. And beer. Mm hmm. I think. I think my favorite would be. Um. Hard boiled eggs with. Um. Some fried salami. Or bacon. 
with um some goat either goat or sheep cheese with a tomato sliced in small chunks and with a little bit a pinch of salt on top that would be my ideal breakfast have i ever eaten spam uh yes i think so spam is canned pork right if spam is canned pork, then yes, I did eat spam. You really like... You really like how to boil eggs in vinegar? I did hear that adding um, vinegar while the eggs are being boiled helps with... Um, with uh, peeling them, but I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not. It's canned something. Uh, that I, Then I have no idea if I had it or not. Is ham and pork? Then yes, I did eat the combination. I remember in my student days where I just had uh, some canned, canned pork and uh, I would just grab a fork, grab some bread and just eat. Directly out of the can. Yeah, student life, man. It's horrific for your body, but damn good, like most things in life. Hey Marcus, welcome back to the end, dude. I am back. Guess who has a ton a ton of new emotes? Uh I guess Vixie adds a lot of good shit. That's awesome. While well, I'm just hit sitting here with none. What you gonna do? With no new additions. Is the fight over? Oh my god, it's not. Everyone start charging in again. But I play a cool game. Oh, so so you're saying that Vixie only has the emoticons that's going for her. That's harsh, man. That's harsh. You know I'm joking. Thanks for dropping by again, man. I missed you. Hope you're doing good. Should make a new emote of my dick, so you can just post it when people ask about it. I should, sub. That's a great idea. I'll talk with my lawyers to see if it's possible. But I got a feeling. Deep inside of me, that's, that's probably not going to happen. It's not over yet. Hmm? Uh, yes, his... TP is too small for an emote. True. Hmm? It'll be okay if you say it's a feminine deck. Jesus Christ. Thank you. No. I'm okay. I, I, no, no, let's not open that can of worms. No, Marcus, it's fine. Eric Nader, don't indulge. Please. Going through trash. Good. Feminine, learn to pronounce adjective, having quality of an appearance traditionally associated with women. There you go. Am I fighting an elite mob? I'm fighting a mismounted army. Marcus? Go Google it, okay? If you really must know. Eh, 
A <laughs> feminine dick is a dick with lipstick. Okay. Subject closed. Perfect. Don't. Uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm? Hello, Happy Moosey. You're close to leave the channel. Talk about genitals disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, it is. It is. That's why I would like to stop. While we're ahead. Because clearly you guys are being quite the heads right now. Okay. So, let's see. Drone to Lancer. Is there anything interesting? I guess I could grab those. Uh, gear guard. There. Why every time you come, someone else starts talking about such topics? Uh, because you indulge them, Marcus. Because you also just fawn the flames. Yes, exactly. That doesn't really excuse it. No, does it? Whatever. Then I'll do. Sir Alistair, you're fine. Increase that power strike strike. Good. Let me see. Is there a visual cue that it's foggy? Yes, yes, there is a visual cue. Okay, let's go southwest, southwestwards. Let's let's stay away from any sexual subjects right now. How are you boys doing? What are you guys playing nowadays? I've been out of the game for a week. What's up? You've increased their strength by 10 and agility by 10? Doubt. Doubt. Okay, the strength is now 30. Archery proficiency has been increased by 30 to 290. Um, okay. That's fine. I need more from you, Lethal Durin. I need more. I'm playing with your kitty? That's nice. Someone raised the leveling speed to 10%. You did the same? Okay. Good for you, man. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, I, I can't fight those. I Not under these weather conditions, so we're just going to walk away. Wait. Did the... Did it go away? Did the fog... Oh, yeah, the fog went away. I can fight now. Well, after we have our soldiers healed up. Watching one of your favorite bands implode over dumb fuck drama? I wish people would just stay away from dumb fuck drama. It's so stupid nowadays. I'm not exactly sure why. Everybody's all about the drama. It's just so dumb. So unnecessary. So unhealthy. It's a very nice kitty. You know, you can leave a fish on top of the table and he will totally jump on it. Of course he will totally jump on it. That's what cats do. You can't just go like, Yo, cat. No. Kind of like, fuck you, I don't do what you're telling me. Fuck you, I don't do what you're telling me. So he will definitely go and eat that fish. But no, drama's dumb. Drama's unnecessary. And I feel like drama's just for attention-seeking. And there's no point to it. She just want, waits for you to turn around. Shocking. Yes, well made. Uh, refugee problem, build houses. Thing is, they try to avoid drama, so the statement made gave the least amount of information possible, but that just makes things worse. Uh, yes, because it leaves things open to interpretation. And uh, people's wild imagination takes control and causes the problem to go even worse. Spending too much time online makes you bitter. It jades you from the stupidity of the world. 
Uh, fans were obviously confused and wanted an explanation. Yeah, true. It, in, in these types of scenarios, you just bite the bullet. Tell things how they are with no room for interpretation. And you move on. Uh, stricken with disease. Let's put this physician from the Radiant Cross. Oh, shit. Okay, Elder... I'd like to update your skills. Train my village steward. Oh god, it's gonna take a long time. But we'll have to do... What we gotta do? I'll need to train uh, the stewards from everywhere. We're also gonna manage this village. Where were you all of these days? Hunting bears in the mountain, Marcus. Um, that's what what was needed to be done. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Marcus. I hope you can um, you can get that sorted now. Now that I'm back, yeah. Too bad they didn't do that. So now it's too late. They later release another statement where they say basically, "Fuck you. We're not giving you any details." Okay, uh, they should have stated something like, um, this is personal and we need to deal it internally, and that's it. Yes, hunting bears of the mountains. I wasn't successful. Build. Take me to church. Um, I burned these villages because I wanted to experiment to see if the food in Ravenstone gets influenced by the amount of villages burned. It doesn't. That's why they hate me so much. A village elder. Training session for you two. Train them up. Mm -hmm. Another 18 hours, which I'm okay with. Oh no, one of my captives have, has escaped. The bitches. It's a great bed musically, and to be honest, this caught everyone by surprise. Because literally nobody expected that. It happens. I don't know. People react. People make poor decisions under pressure. And when stressed out. So maybe you could cut them some slack. Maybe you could stop giving a fuck. I guess that's it. Hopefully they'll bounce back and they're going to be better and they're going to make more awesome music afterwards. Hopefully. There. There. Hopefully we didn't get any of the lords in here. Good. Uh, go to the castle. Talk with Borgen. Schedule a training session. Thank you. Train my steward three hours. Good. Go to finish a tour with no lead singer. Find a new one. Find a new one. Find a better one. Be become stronger, faster, more powerful. And as people started spinning theories of why that's happened, allegations of abuse and some leaked chats containing some casual racial slurs surfaced. Of course. Of course, yeah. They said they'll continue to tour with Replacement Singer. Okay. That sounds like normal... That sounds like a normal shit fest. Like usual with these types of drama. Okay. For all the singer pretty much made the band. What it is in a lot of people's opinions. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't it. And it wasn't just... That's it, folks. We had a good run. It's over now. Oh, he used the wrong pronouns. Yeah, that's hurting people these days. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't really give a shit about that.
I don't think I would be able to um, use the correct pronouns. The current pronouns that I use in general, you know, the, the ones dictated by the language, are so embedded in me, it would be very difficult for me to adapt to utilizing what other people want me to utilize. Um, plus, they have to deserve my respect for me to utilize those. I'll try to be polite, but can't really... You know, shun me and condemn me and throw me in a dungeon for 3,000 years uh, because I made a mistake. Well, we'll see. There were, um, then there was some usual rock star shit like a band member sleeping with fangirls and whatnot. Which, well, as long as they're not underage, that should be fine. But yeah, that does sound like rock star shit. So as long as it didn't go into pedo territory, why the fuck not? I'll call you anything you want, doesn't matter to me, but a little leeway would go a long way. Yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, if you're going to tell me, hi, I will now be known as Susan. Yeah, sure. Hi, Susan. That's cool. It's your choice. Just don't shove it down my throat. Sorry, Bob. I'll try to not call you Bob anymore, and it's going to be Susan. But I will make mistakes until I get accustomed to it. And that's that's it. Uh, basically, now some people go, oh no, what an abhorrent behavior. He used the N-word in private chat four years ago. You hate that band now? Oh, that's so dumb. Okay. Can we all agree that we used bad words at one point in life out of mistake or stupidity or stuff like that? Can we all agree on that? That that shit will happen? Is Basic burned down to the crisp? No, I don't know why they didn't give me any rent this month. <sighs> okay, Tavern. Do we got a ransom broker over here? So Roland. Can't take anyone else right now. Wasn't Roland supposed to be part of the squad? Am I misremembering it? Oh, where's that list? I don't remember the list. That's fine. You never called anyone the N-word. You gotta be a dumb fuck to use that. True. True. That is correct. I've never called anyone the N-word either. Sleeping with the fangirls was pretty mundane, no underage, no harassment. The worst he saw was, like, girl who had sex with a band member and then regretted it because she cheated on her fiancé, but she couldn't help herself. That's a her problem. That's a she problem, not a... That's not on the band. I mean... Oh no, the detention was there, it's your fault for tempting me. Oh, yes, definitely. Let's not... Let's just throw away out the window the fact that you've, you know, failed and you took the bait. You went with a temptation. Oh, yes, definitely. Not your fault. Mm -mm. No, no, no. You should be absolved of all... I, I hate that sort of stuff. Mm, no, no, no. That doesn't apply just to women, Eric Nader. That applies to men, too. Oh my god, a musician fucked a man? Never happened before. I know, right? Completely unheard of. This is the first time in forever. You know what never happened? Oh my god, a musician fucked a fan, and then he married, or she married that fan. That never happened before. Or maybe it did, and I was just never aware of it, or never heard of such a situation. Oh, no. Don't care about that. Just want to go Sarah the Fox. Nope. Singalian of word or describe him. Mala Borgi the Fat Man. Yes. Because I know I have a fat problem and I just don't give a fuck. Now, that's a man who knows what he stands for. Okay, let's go back to Ravenstern. Hopefully some people get that reference. But I'm not going to mention where it's exactly from. 
Uh, no, maybe yes. Okay, okay, I'll end things here. Hmm? Because I know I have a fat issue and I just don't give a fuck. That reference. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, wasn't, not, a, it, it's expected that the view count was a little bit lower. A Vampire of the Masquerade, there we go. Um, this was a little bit lower, but it's to be expected because I literally just came back. Um, that's going to be it. If you guys like what I do, please hit that follow button. It's just going to notify you uh, when I stream. If you want to further support me on Twitch, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, you also need to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on the new videos that I post. And that's it. Wish you boys and girls a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Prophecy of Fendor. Um, I'm back, bitches! So that's cool. See you next time.